ears absolutely dying to say this, lads. Um, well done. Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. You have made history. As an undertaking, it is something that I think historians will be looking back on because there are snippets of information that never made any history books and yet you have children interviewing their parents, their grandparents, their great-grandparents. One of the things that I absolutely loved about this book was the intergenerational feel of it. There are kids saying, you know, after I got the story from uh, Grandad about his Grandad, we started to sit down together and chat about more than history, about our family. I know myself, my grandfather, he loved it to bits. Like When, he, when we told him about this, now he was, you could see his face lit up like um. it was good, yeah. And so like, I wouldn't say I was particularly the favourite grandchild beforehand, <laughs> but I definitely rose up the ranks a bit. Initially, we started with the senior classes and by the time we finished, every class group was taking part because everyone had heard of it and they all wanted to take part in it. People looking back in many, many years to come, you know, maybe the bicentenaries and in, in another hundred years time, they will look at what the children of West Cork have achieved by simply capturing these stories because they're absolutely phenomenal. Nell Kelly was just 12 years old when Tom Barry came to her family's door that morning, telling them to stay indoors and keep away from the window. A surprise attack on the British forces was to take place on the road outside later that day and from 8am to 4pm Nell and her family were held in their own home. After the ambush the family were forced to flee as their family home was burnt to the ground. It would have been a shame to leave it go because in 50 years time or whatever people like to read about them. What did it feel like for you then when you got this letter saying I'm going to be a published author? Um, it was a big surprise. <laughs> yeah, it was cool enough in fairness. Like you wouldn't expect something you did as a child really to pop up about four or five years later in a book that's being sold like in your name's on it. You're proud of him? Oh absolutely. Hundred percent. Oh god yeah. I really was so excited about meeting you all and telling you all how fantastic you are. I really hope you're as proud of this project and this book as we are. Some of the stories, like, they should, they deserve to be told. Like, there's a lot of unsung heroes. That, like, not everyone's a Tom Barry or a Michael Collins or anything like that. And the beauty of this book is that the living, breathing words of these family stories come through for themselves. This is history to learn from and enjoy. Thank you.